The Jordan School District got a $700,000 grant to provide STEM learning opportunities in three of its schools. Yeah, West Jordan Middle is one of those schools to benefit, and Holly got a chance to see that grant in action. Yeah, and it is neat to see that grant in action. As a result of the money, West Jordan Middle added two new after school classes, robotics, and computer programming. The classes are giving many of these students new opportunities. Meet Gracie Young, Josh Barlow, and. This is my robot, and her name is Sheila. Sheila has her own personality and attitude. A little bit temperamental sometimes, um, but other than that, cooperates pretty well. Sheila is Gracie and Josh's creation. What we're teaching our robot is like to stop at an object and to turn after an angle and stuff like that. Gracie and Josh are part of West Jordan Middle School's STEM Academy. Our goal at West Jordan Middle School is to be kind of the flagship for STEM learning. The academy was made possible by a $700,000 grant from the STEM Action Center to the Jordan School District. The grant is aimed at getting more minorities and underprivileged kids involved in STEM. Some of these kids who maybe weren't excited about school before are very excited about school and they're finding success in um, being part of those programs. West Jordan Middle is using the money to offer two after school programs, one in robotics, the other in computer programming. They're going to use the robots and what they've learned with the programming and how to build it to actually have it solve some kind of situation. An opportunity many students here wouldn't have had otherwise. Our school is uh, in a socioeconomic disadvantaged area. Um, you know, more than half of our students are on free and reduced lunch. So to have that kind of uh, resource come into our school, it's affording these students an opportunity they never would have had. For Gracie and Josh, right now we're learning how to problem solve with the robot. This grant has opened up a whole new world of possibilities. Everyone needs to learn how to operate something like this because most people know how to work a computer but not a lot of people know how to work a robot. Even if this robot has a bit of an attitude. And the grant was divided up between three schools, West Jordan Middle, Joel P. Jensen Middle, and Oker Hills Middle. Now, we do want your STEM inspired stories. Email us your story ideas at stemstories at kutv.com. We like to see what the kids are doing, how they're learning, especially when it comes to STEM. So creative and smart. Oh, great. Yes. Great. That's